hello friend this is opening and welcome to learn sap app app so in this session we are going to see even with the handler method in a different class okay so in a last video we have already seen even with the handler method in the same class we can how to call the tbd within the same class okay but in this session we will see the second part which is nothing but the even with the handler method in a different class okay so even can be raised by even handler method which is declared in another class okay so here we can mention an event in a class and want to handle that event in another class in that case we need to declare that triggering method in a first class okay so we will see all these things in private uh, if you are the first time on my channel and if you still didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn is so what i will do i will first define a class class one definition and we will use end class so in this class i will define a uh, public section public section okay in public section i will use uh, no data local variable call one type care 50 and what I will do, I will just uh, define event, okay, events, event, okay, and then I will define a method, method, so trigger, okay. So what we will do, we will try to, you know, uh, define this, uh, we will try to erase this event from this method, okay. So I will define, I will define one more class now, uh, class cl s2 definition then i will use end class and here i will use again public section public section so inside the public section i will again use the data define one more variable as a lv where to type char 50 you can give any example okay and here what i will do i will only use the method okay method event event handler okay Okay, I will handle this is not only sufficient. Okay, to define even like yeah, we have to write some more, more thing here, but you know, I will just try to explain you in a better way. So, okay, so first I will define the method as a normal method. So, here as I use a method, and here as okay, so I will just check and activate so it will give error. So, now what I will do, I will just try implementation for this. So, I will write class CL S1 implementation. Okay, and here I will use end class. So now first I will define here we can see this event and method okay so I will implement this method first so I will use method method event t so here I will use end method okay so down okay. and here what I will do I will just use uh, or define this variable variable one is equal to event trigger method calling Called. I will use call okay then I will use right right slash lv where one okay okay so now what I will do, I will just implement another class also. Implement another class also. I will copy as it is this code and will use as a class two here. Class two, and in the class two, which method we have? Your event handler. Okay. So first of all, I am just defining all the method as a normal method. Okay. So you will understand. You can relate this with our uh, previous videos. Okay so even and here i will even handler method called okay even handler method called okay and here i will use a variable as a second variable okay because this is variable we have defined inside this class okay so you can see here in this class we have this defined that may uh, so now what i will check and activate sorry here i have to do methods here also i have two methods check okay so what we have done i have just defined two class where we have this event i will, will check the later on how to trigger this event okay and here we have this triggering method and your event handler method okay 
so what i will do now here i will write my define startup selection selection here what i will do data object type to refer to sorry type refer to cls1 okay this is the first object okay and i will define one more object as a object to type refer to ref to cns2 okay then we what i will do now i will just call i will use call method obj sorry we are going to use create object create object object one i use create with one and object two okay and now here what i will do and here i will use call method in call method what we have here we have a triggering method right here i will use sorry this method right trigger i will show you in a debugger okay how now what is the flow and what okay you will understand now object one okay okay so what we have done so far you can see here First, we have defined one class in which we have this uh, variable defined, and this here we have one method. Okay, event uh, here we have one event. Okay, and here we have a method. But this event, this event we are we are going to trigger from this event handler uh, in this method. Okay, and here in this method, and you can here also see here we have to define another class where we have in here event handler method. Okay, so this event handler method we are going to trigger in this event uh, method. Okay. And what we will do? As of now, we have you know defined only the normal method. Okay, so we'll show you how we can you know uh, register event and I method. Okay, so let's check this easy flow so you will understand quickly. So now and here what we have implemented with this method and this method. Okay, so far and here what a startup selection and here we have used uh, we have created object and here we are calling this trigger method. Okay, so I will show you in a debugger uh, how what will happen. So once the control will come here. Okay, I will activate this. Once the control will it trigger, it will just trigger this method, and it will show display this message only. Okay, I will show you. So if I will execute now, so you can see this is uh, your trigger. Okay, so I will go to the next. So you can see here even trigger method call. Okay, and it will print this on the screen. Okay, effect. If I will put effect so you can see event trigger method call okay but now what do we have to use you know even uh even handler method so how we can have even handler method for that this event what i will do here i'm just using the here we have to use as a race event in this card we from this class we have to call this method right so in this you know we will use even raise event this is event event okay and there's even event okay this event and in the startup selection, what I will write, I will register the event handler method. How to register event handler method? So I will use here. Uh, let me remove this set set handler set handler. Then object two because in object uh, because the type of this uh, the reference object of this one is object two. Okay, for doing this we have this event handler method, right? So in this we have to call the event handler method. Then event event underscore handler then for 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 what for this one so here we are going to call right here we have this method right so now check in okay so now you can see here event handler method was not defined in the event handler method why so so because we are calling event handler method right so here in this for this method also we need to define as a event handler okay so how we can define in the implicit in the definition part for event evt okay evt of 
of a class okay we check and okay so now what we have done i what you have added so oh, in this class one implementation we have used in a raise event okay so uh, raise event but uh, for, for in the definition okay so what we have done in the uh, class 2 definition we have defined this method as a event handler method so you can see the method this is a syntax for event event t for event for this event we are using this okay for this or this method we are calling for this event okay we are using for this event so here we have defined event handler for event this of class sls1 okay and then in a class one we have added this one raise event event t event t1 okay so and after that here we have you know implement so and he in the status here what we are we have this register event handler method okay why using set handler set handler then the reference of uh, where we have this event handler method object two we are using the event handler for object one okay so for object one okay so now we'll check okay what will happen event trigger when we will we will the event this call, call method will trigger so it will raise this event okay if it will raise this event then uh, it will just call this event handler method it will print this one also okay so we'll check now in the debugger okay so scroll down i will put the debugger here okay check and activate okay i will press sorry effect press effect so you can see even it registered the event okay for this one event handler and now uh, it will call this method event so you can see this uh, particular schedule will get print first okay then we are using the raise event once we call this raise event the control will go to this event handler method so you can see control event handler method and here it will print this one okay event handler method call okay so event handler method so, so now if i will press f fit so now you can see event handler method call okay so what i will i will do one more changes here so now let's see 100 meter form and here i will use one more as a right right here i will run processing done okay so what will happen uh first you will program will call this method then it will print this one then it will go to the raise event inside the raise it will call this method then control will come out from this event and I can print this one okay so I will show you once again whether how it will work once again so if I will execute so you can see uh, trigger this even trigger so and this it will print this this screen then we have this raise event so control will go to the raise event here you can handle then it will print this on the screen then control will go out from here and then here we will write processing done okay then if I will first show again so you can see here okay so i hope you now you have clear how we can trigger the event from another another class okay so thank you friends if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learnicpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out